Hi guys, it's Paige, and today I'm going to learn a four strand braid, and so are you. Also, I slept in Dutch braids last night, which actually they still look good, but you know they're not sticking around. Here I am taking them out, like always. Now I have to take out the other side, like always. And now I have super curly hair all the way through from the top to the bottom. The ends are super curly. I, I just can't believe it. I like it, kind of, but it's naughty, so we have to brush it. That's not the kind of naughty I meant. I meant kind of like tangly, but it's a homophone, but not that kind of tangled either. But actually, maybe, because like they probably called it tangled because her hair was so long it kept getting tangled. Now that my hair is all brushed, it's so much easier to run my fingers through, as of the other side, it's not. Yeah, nope. Curly, straight. And to get this amazing no-knot texture, we must brush out the other side too. In a few seconds, I'm gonna jump into a ponytail and I'm just gonna run it past you that I don't do ponytail braids that much. I don't think I've ever done them because they seem so beginner to me. I think that's always why I never let my mom put them in. Cause the whole style in my hair started with my mom putting in ponytails every day in first grade. But it seemed like that's what everyone started with when they learned how to do a braid. Moving the camera back to that nice wide angle. I always love this. Now I have to fidget around till I think it's perfect. Now I'm dividing the ponytail in two and then dividing each two into two. One two, three, four. Four pieces for a four strand braid. Okay, now that we're at a point that you can barely see, I'll give some instructions. Choose either the left or right strand that you're gonna be following throughout this. Cross that strand over the second and under the third. Finally, back over the fourth. And remember, all that was with the same piece. Now there's a new left or right strand and you repeat the same thing to that. If you need it again, it's one, goes over two, goes under three, goes over four. I picked it up and figured out the hand motions pretty easily, actually. This is my progress. Now go all the way to the end. And after hair tying it at the bottom, it's all done. It looks really pretty, actually. Thinking what a cool bun this would make. Very sporty. I think this looks great. Bye-bye.